Good morning. Today we're going to build a better multiprotocol module. If you have many toy quads or if you are into silverware, you probably know about or even use the IR6 or MTX9D multiprotocol modules. These modules allow you to bind and control many toy quads, and they're quite cheap, but they have a major limitation, poor range. It's because of these uh, tiny PCB antennas. So we will build a better but still affordable NRF24 multiprotocol module. You will need an Arduino Nano to control the RF module, an NRF24 module with power amplifier and low noise amplifier, an external 3.3 power module to power the RF module. Finally, the PPM signal voltage output from some transmitters may be too high for the Arduino Nano. So to be safe, you need a 10K ohm resistor in line with the PPM signal wire. This gives you input voltage protection up to 15.5 volts and down to negative 10.5 volts. But the most important component is the excellent NRF24 multi-protocol firmware for Arduino by Gobish. This project wouldn't have been possible without his firmware and his help and guidance. Thank you, Gobish. Upload the NRF24 multi-protocol firmware to the Arduino Nano. Wire according to the diagram below. And finally, the PPM signal. Let's connect our module to the transmitter. So this is ground, VCC, and finally PPM. Next, we'll create a new model. And then let's turn off the internal RF. And set the external RF to PPM. Okay, so now we're ready. We'll power up the quad first. Um, I always prefer to turn on the quad first so that I can observe the LED light behavior. And then, while holding the appropriate stick pattern, we power up the TX. The last use protocol is automatically selected, so if the sticks are in neutral position, you don't need to do this. Okay, so it's bound, the, the light is steady already. And it's working. And that's how you build a multi-protocol module. I hope you learned something. And thank you for watching.